Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will continue learning about sublime text. To be more specific, we will learn how to manage lines of text. We will learn about indentation and we'll cover a few other miscellaneous items along the way. So let's get started. So here is an example bit of HTML. We have an unordered list with the days of the week. And let's imagine that we want to reorder these list items from Monday to Sunday. So our first step would be to move Monday to the top of the list. Now traditionally we might highlight the Monday line, cut it, put our cursor up here, paste, but that's not very efficient, is it? So let me show you the sublime text way of moving this Monday line up to the top. I don't even need to highlight it. Just make sure that my cursor is anywhere on this line and then I'm going to hold down command and control and then use my arrow keys on the keyboard up and down to place this wherever I want. In Windows, the keyboard command is control and shift and then your arrow keys. So next up, I will move the Friday to sit beneath Thursday. Excellent. Let's give ourselves a new goal. Because we like Saturday so much, let's imagine we want two or three Saturdays. Now typically, we might highlight that line, copy it, enter down, paste, enter down, paste, but that's not efficient. So what we're going to do is place our cursor anywhere on that line. We don't need to highlight it. And on our keyboard, hold down Command Shift D for duplicate. On Windows, this is Control Shift D. Excellent. Now let's imagine that because we don't really enjoy Mondays, we want to remove this line. And instead of highlighting it and then deleting or highlighting it and cutting it, let's just place our cursor anywhere on this line and hold down Control Shift K. This command is the same for both Mac and Windows, and it's incredibly useful. Now let's switch gears and talk about code indentation, so indenting. In HTML, indenting helps us stay organized, but we all know that in certain programming languages and or certain languages that need to be compiled, indentation can be a matter of life and death. So let's review some of Sublime Text's power tools when it comes to indentation. All right, so let's pretend that a mouse or a cat just walked on my keyboard and you can see that the indentation for these list items is completely out of whack. Now to fix this, traditionally, I might need to place my cursor in exact locations and then hit delete, or on this line, I might need to put my cursor here and then hit tab. Uh, but that's not very efficient, so let's talk about the sublime text way of fixing this. First, let's fix the Tuesday line. So our cursor doesn't need to be anywhere specifically horizontally. Just make sure that it's on this line. And I'm going to hold down Command and then the opening square bracket key. So the square bracket keys are to the right of your P key. Now on PC, instead of Command, you would hold down Control and then one of the square brackets. So let's go down to Thursday, Command, opening square bracket, hit it several times. Let's go down to Saturday. So in this case, I'm going to use the ending bracket to move to the right. So these commands are great when you want to have fine grain control over your indentation for a line. However, let's switch back to the cat or mouse just walked on my keyboard scenario because I want to show you something that's even more powerful. We can actually fix this section's indenting in one foul swoop. So let's highlight the problem area. And then in your Sublime Text menu, click Edit. Look under the Line submenu and choose Re-indent. And Sublime Text will automatically fix it for us. And there are times when you will want to re-indent your entire page. So let's imagine a scenario where we're working with someone else's HTML and they don't believe in indenting at all. <laughs> so we can see that there's zero indenting. To quickly remedy this, I will select the entire document. So that's Command A, or on PC, that's Control A. Edit, Line, Re-indent. Excellent, now let's switch gears. Let's imagine that I wanna paste in a bit of code. So what just happened is the bane of my existence. This code that was in my clipboard that I pasted in did have perfect indentation, but somewhere in the paste in process, all hope was lost. I don't know what happened, but this happens all the time. It's very frustrating. Now, instead of manually fixing the indentation, let's just use a sublime text method of pasting. 
So instead of using Command V to paste, or if you're on PC, Control V, let's try Command Shift V for intelligent paste. On PC, that's Control Shift V. So thank you very much, Sublime Text, for restoring some sort of order to our universe. We can now paste without messing up our indentation. And that's actually going to bring this particular lesson to a close. I hope you feel like you learned something. I encourage you to practice these techniques on your own. In our next lesson, we will learn how to manage or open or navigate projects. Or in other words, a folder in Sublime Text. Should be a lot of fun. I'll see you then. The lesson you just watched is a part of my web development workflow course. The course covers Sublime Text, SAS architecture and organization, Git, Grunt, Bower, and more. And we use all of this to build a modern website together. The lessons that are about a single tool will be available for free on YouTube. And the lessons where we really sink our teeth into something or see how two or three tools are coming together, or maybe write a bit of custom CSS or JavaScript together will be part of the premium course. If you want to be notified when the premium course is released, you can sign up via the description for this video. Or if you're watching this video in the future, the course has been released and you can find a heavily discounted coupon code in the description for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.